This is a menu screen. For Chicory, A Colourful Tale. Chicory, A Colourful Tale is a kickstarted indie game. Please don't sigh. Did you just sigh there? Please don't sigh. That's Chicory there. Chicory is the... Yeah, she is depressed. Don't... Did you just sigh again there? It sounded like you sighed. Chicory, A Colourful Tale is a bit like a Zelda game, except you colour in the world. It's not got as much combat and stuff as a Zelda game. You colour in the world. It's like a big colouring book. You can see that just for looking at it. But it's wonderfully... I love the character designs. They're very beautiful and it's very well written, but it also touches issues as well. Did you just... Did you just sigh? Sounded like you sighed. Look at it. Look at the water. Look at the colours. It's beautiful. But it's not its looks that, that grabbed me. Don't much go in for looks when it comes to games. It was mere some of the stuff that it's got to say. No, all of the stuff. It's by no means a perfect game. I'm not going to at any point say that. It's just some of the stuff that it had to say caught me at the right time. It talks in the direction of imposter syndrome and having no, that's me finding a new brush technique, brush style. Colouring stuff in isn't just a novelty, that's your strokes there, your different types of strokes that you've got there, in case you want to have different types of strokes instead of just a normal stroke. But you use the strokes and the colouring in to solve puzzles to navigate through the terrain, like you would in a Zelda game, that's why I said that earlier. This is a boss battle, you don't get many of them in this game, but obviously very unique, not the hardest. If you die, it just restarts you exactly where where you died, so I don't really see the point in letting you die anyway. I don't know why games do that. It lets you die, but then it just lets you restart exactly where you died. But as I was saying, your main character, not just the main character, other characters and also the main character who you name after a foodstuff, all the characters are named after foodstuff. My wee guy's called Pizza, because I like pizza. Yeah, but the game talks in the direction of an area which has been quite close to home as of late. Imposter syndrome and anxiety and lack of self-confidence. That's Chicory again there, who seems to have perked up a wee bit. The game is nicely written. Uh, don't, get, don't get me wrong, it is nicely written and it does break these things down reasonably well, but it's still done in quite a video gamey way and I think it's part of the nature of anxiety, if you've ever had that thing, whatever it is, that when you see it in others and you see it explained or discussed in formats like this, you go, ah, well, I, I, I hear what you're saying and I see some similarities, but it still seems like kind of surface level nonsense. You see that in other people's anxieties as well. You go, what, you're talking about nothing? Like, you're talking about worrying about nothing? My anxiety is the real shit. That's the real shit that I've got. Mine is unique. This is me stuck at a puzzle here. It's almost impossible to get stuck at this game, but I managed it. I just forgot that you could cancel a brush style and get the pinpoints. I, honestly, I can get stuck at anything. I'm particularly good at getting stuck at life. The game would be a winner at the game of life. Remember that? Falling into the horrible, horrible, horrible trap of telling yourself, don't talk about this. Don't talk about this, don't think about this, and it's all you can think about, and it's all you can talk about. To the point where you're not even talking about the video game that you should be talking about. And you're worrying about souring new relationships by just no being able to get out from under yourself. Or maybe not from under yourself, but from that voice inside yourself that sounds like your voice, but is actually the cunning voice of evil. Anxiety. I don't see the point in collecting stuff in this game, I never, I never really understood it. There's lots of bits of clothing. Cool, I mean it's cool, but I don't see the point. The story in the game is great, the aesthetic of the game is great. The RPG elements, no so much. You are on occasion made to feel like you're on the spot in Chicory to be good at art, and sometimes characters say things to you that are less than complimentary, and feeling the way I've felt the last couple of months, I, I, I really it cuts cuts through and I, I, I feel it fully, I feel I feel the criticism fully. It has a nice message and it wraps up in a big bow as video games always need today. I think I mostly enjoyed it because it was a 
soft comfort and reminder that the support of others can help you through trouble in times of doubt but also as I was saying earlier at the same time you're telling yourself ah but my anxiety that's the real evil this game doesn't touch the real evil in the same way that my anxiety does mine is devious and unrelenting and then again you need to remind yourself that you're just telling yourself that and that that voice isn't yours it's it's a whole thing. It's a whole exhausting thing. I did enjoy playing Chicory. I think that you should try it. It made me resent again that I have to put these experiences through my own troubled brain hole. But it also reminded me that these times don't last and that you have to push through and keep trying. Try putting it through your brain hole and see, see what happens. The music is beautiful. See you later.